I have this lipstick already. Don't nobody want to see my legs right now. And, uh, mm. fashion. So today I have a bit of a haul for you. I have loads of stuff. It's definitely a collective haul. I've got stuff over the last sort of month or so. ASOS, Primark, Boots, a few other bits and pieces. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Okay, I'm just going to sort of like grab things out of my big bag that I've got down here and kind of show them to you in the order in which they came out. Okay, so the first thing I have to show you is a fragrance. It is the C by Chloe perfume. I have loved this for so long and have just put off getting it because, like, let's be real, fragrances aren't cheap. Um, but I decided to kind of treat myself over Easter. I, I, I'm not even going to try and describe it to you, but it feels like spring to me. That's what that's what it smells like, and I really love the bottle. It's kind of vintage inspired. Um, so yeah, that was the first thing I picked up. The next place where I went is Boots, and it's always kind of dangerous me going in there. And as you can see, I picked up quite a bit. And this, is, I just want to reinforce, this is over several trips. I didn't just go and buy all of this in one go. Um, some of it's repurchases, some of it's new stuff. So I'll let you know what I think as I go through. So the first thing that I have is this same... St. Moritz, St. Moritz, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, um, but I think it's basically meant to be like a knockoff of the St. Saint Tropez, St. Tropez, St. Tropez, however you say that. It's a fake tan, I got it in medium, it's only about five pounds, and I have used this once, and I actually really liked it, I've been quite scared of fake tans, I've never really used them in the past, I've kind of tried those gradual build up as you go, kind of like the Dove one, and I never really got along with it, so I thought this kind of thing would be even worse, like as in more permanent and more difficult to correct. But I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I, th I used a, a little tanning mitt and it worked out perfectly. Put it on, leave it on overnight, wash it off in the morning and it's you're lovely and bronzed looking, which is always nice. The next thing I have is a repurchase, it's the La Roche-Posay Physiological Cleansing Milk. I've used this stuff for about three or four months now and I really like it, I just needed to pick up a new one. Um, what I don't like is that I feel like I go through it quite quickly, maybe that's normal, I don't know, I don't feel like I ever remember going through other cleansers as quick as this. Um, but it is from Boots, it is quite affordable and I really like it. The next kind of face related thing is this Garnier Mirror. Miraclear cleansing water. So this is like a cleansing water along the same lines as the Bioderma, kind of like a makeup remover, but gentler, less harsh, gentler, less harsh, same thing. You know what I'm talking about. I don't think I've seen this in New Zealand. As far as I know, it's it's quite like a newish thing. Um, maybe I'll do some research if I find out any more about it. I'll put it in the down bar below. Basically, I was using the Clinique Take the Day Off uh, cleansing balm, which I loved. But it's quite expensive, it's like £20 and this was like 3 So I thought in, in terms of, you know, that initial kind of clarifying, cleansing, removing the makeup first step uh, in my nighttime routine, I thought I would give this a go. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. So last time I went into Boots, they were having one of their infamous 3 for 2 sales in the beauty section. I needed to pick up a couple of things that I tried and tested and that I love anyway. Um, and then I also picked up a new lipstick because I've felt like it and why not? So the first thing is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Ugh, mouthful. Everyone's seen this around the internet. Mine's in fear because I'm fair and I really like this. I bought one about six months ago, used it every single day and it's only just starting to run out now. So it works It works really well last stages. I would definitely recommend it if you live in the UK and can get your hands on it. The next thing that's kind of a repurchase, kind of not, is the Bourjois Happy Light uh, Primer. Now this is the matte serum um, primer and I've tried the illuminating one and I really liked it, I did, but I just wanted to give this one a go see how it compares, so maybe I'll do a little comparison of the two um, once I've tried this one out. And the last thing I picked up is a lipstick from Rimmel and it is 470 Glam Plum Fulham. Ooh, nice. Okay, for a second there I thought I might have purchased a lipstick that I already had. This is number 470 and this is number 500 was the one that I already had. But they're really similar, I don't know if you can see that, I might do a close up. Whew, had a little freak out there. This, <laughs> the 500 that I have is quite a brownie red, whereas this is more of a pinky red. Um, it's just like a deep pink, 
I've done a little swatch there, I'll do a close up of it because you probably can't see. Um, but I've been looking for something like this for a while. I found a gorgeous one in MAC, which is quite different to this, so I might end up splurging on that anyway. But I thought, you know, free for two, try a cheap one first. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Then I got a couple of hair things. Now I went for a slightly different shampoo conditioner combo than what I normally do. I normally go for the L'Oreal Ever Cream. The green ones, Ever Reach, you, like, I'll, maybe I'll insert a little picture over here if you don't know what I'm talking about. They're amazing, I love them. Um, but these were on offer and I thought, I basically just got drawn in by the packaging. I quite like the packaging. Um, so this is the James Brown London Photo Fabulous Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, anything that says volumizing in it is always my best friend, so I'll give these a go and report back. And the last hair product that I got was this Front Row Big Sculpting Mousse. I thought mousse was kind of like on its way out, or went out about two decades ago, but I have seen lots of new mousses around and thought I might just give it a go and see what all the rage is about. So I picked this one up, again, pretty much just drawn in by the packaging. I've never heard anybody talk about this before, so I'll let you know if it's any good or not. Okay, next up is Muji. Uh, nothing too exciting. I got this random travel pouch thing. Basically, um, they don't have this in New Zealand, but in the UK you have to like, and I think in America as well, you have to have like a standard like clear pouch um, with the right amount of liquids and stuff. And I got kind of caught out when I went to Spain. I had to throw out a whole lot of like body moisturizers and stuff like that that were too big. So I've picked this up so that I know exactly how much I can take so I don't have to throw anything away. And the next two things I have are just candles. These are my two favorite. I've got the Winterberry and Black Tea and the Hinakoi Wood. Um, this Hinakoi Wood is quite... I don't know if I'm saying that right, sorry if I'm not. Hinokoi, Hinoki, Hinoki maybe? Hinoki wood? We'll, call it, we'll just call it the wood one. This is quite masculine and kind of a bit spicy. Whereas this one is still a little bit spicy but a lot warmer. This is probably more of a wintry scent but it's been kind of horrible in the UK lately even though it's like spring. We have had some nice weather but the last couple of days have not been nice so I guess that's maybe why I was tempted to pick this one up. Okay, next stop is ASOS. Um, I got this necklace which I'm in love with. I'm not really a statement necklace kind of a person. I've seen lots of really beautiful ones in Zara um, and online but they're quite pricey especially if you don't know if they're the kind of thing you're going to want to wear but I didn't want anything that was too cheap looking um, so I got this one off ASOS I think it was about 15 pounds and I really like it so far I've worn it like the last two days I only got it in the mail yesterday and I've worn it non-stop since I got it um, so I really like it I'll leave a link down below if they still have it on there which I'm sure they will um, and I also got this t-shirt just like a basic grey uh, boyfriend t-shirt and then another top that I got that I'm really excited about is this one here and it's just a little crop top that says Kelly as you can see it's quite baggy and wide and you can I could get away with wearing it with uh, you know like hipster jeans you don't even like I've I've tried it on with just like a standard pair of like normal plain black jeans and you can just sort of get away with wearing it um, so yeah I'm excited to bust that out when it gets a little bit warmer and last but not least is a quite sizable amount of stuff from Primark here. So again, just going to bowl on through, otherwise we'll be here all day. Okay, continuing on the tops theme. Um, I got this just kind of boyfriend top thing. Um, it was like three pounds. It's good for wearing with jeans to work or, you know, not too formal but not too casual situations. Um, I'm into the stripes. I like the stripes. Did I mention I like stripes? Um, I got this Run DMC top, again from Primark. I thought this was quite cool and I thought it was like, you know, pretty nifty for Primark. So I thought I'd pick that up while it was still in stock. I also got a couple of pairs of shorts uh, while I was there. They're bringing out all of their summer stuff. And although it's not really summer weather now, I know that all the good stuff will get taken. And to be honest, even a lot of the good stuff that I wanted was not there in my size, like these shorts, which are both high-waisted, but I had to buy them a few sizes bigger because they just simply didn't have anything smaller. So they're more like, you know, mid-rise on me now, but that's okay. The first pair is this very colourful uh, pair of Scorts. Scorts? Is it Scorts plural? I don't know. But anyway, they're like the Zara Scort 
pattern um, and I really like it. I don't normally go for that much colour but I do really like these. I love the colours and I've tried them on they're really comfy and they look really nice. Along with the stripes and the skorts, another big trend uh, this spring summer or that I've seen that I am into is this sort of window pane kind of print. Um, and they had this print in like dresses and I think they had tops as well. I decided to pick up a pair of shorts. They're kind of almost like collots, you know, you could kind of put them on and it almost looks like a skirt, but it's not. They're shorts. Um, I really like them. Can't wait to wear them. I can't wait to fake tear my legs so that uh, I can get away with wearing shorts because don't nobody want to see my legs right now. Speaking of covering up my legs, um, just got some of these basic tights. I get these every time I go into Primark because they're just really handy to have. I picked up two pairs of spring summer sandaly type things. The first pair are these kind of almost school shoe-esque type things. Um, which I'm pretty sure I wore a pair similar to this literally to school and hated them and swore I would never wear anything similar again. But here I am because, you know, fashion. And another thing that I swear I would never wear that I'm pretty sure my mum wore and I was like, I'm never going to wear those. Um, are these, oh I'm going to have to remember, what's, what are they called? Okay, these have like a legit name and I can't remember what it is right now but I'm going to like type it somewhere on the screen or link them down below. Um, yeah, another just fashion. And no trip to Primark is complete without buying a random pair of socks or multiple pairs of socks that you don't need. I just got one pair this time. Spotty with a little bit of lace trim. I don't actually have anything like this. I love socks and I have loads of pairs of random socks. Um, but I don't actually have any kind of, of the lace frill ones. So those should be exciting. I'll try and wear those at some point, I'm sure. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I'm sorry if this was the longest video of life, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed all of the preparation and the filming. Uh, I think it's safe to say I won't be shopping for a little while after all of that. But thanks again for watching guys, and please subscribe, like if you liked it, and I will see you next time. Bye!